One evening, Gordon was preparing to take the Midnight Express to the other railway. His driver and fireman oiled his joints and checked his couplings. Gordon simmered nicely just then. Edward puffed into the shed. Hello, Gordon. Why aren't you pulling the express? I'm taking a midnight express to the other railway tonight. The other railway? There hasn't been a midnight express since the accident. What accident? Asked Gordon grumpily. Many years ago, before you arrived on the railway, there was another engine who pulled the express. He didn't have a name. Just a number. 89. I was only a young engine, but I was still wise. 89 was much older than me. He was also very cocky. One night, it rained heavily. 89 was to take the Midnight Express to the other railway. I warned him to be careful. But he wouldn't listen. He bumped along the line, unaware of the danger ahead. The line near the viaduct was badly out of shape. But when he neared it, his driver slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. The engine came off the rails and plunged into the swamps below. The engine and his crew were never found again. Not long afterwards, the fat controller took over as director of the railway and closed the run. But they say every night, the engine runs again as a warning to others. What nonsense. I'm an important engine. I don't have time to listen to your made-up stories about things that go bump in the night. Goodbye. Gordon made his way to the station. On the way, the only thing he could think about was Edward's story. It was dark when Gordon reached the station. He buffered up to the coaches and the passengers climbed in. Gordon looked around. He couldn't see any other engines and deep inside he felt a little scared. Up ahead, the signal was red, so Gordon had to stop. Why is the signal red? Asked the driver. I don't know. Gordon is the only engine on the line tonight. Just said, Gordon heard an unfamiliar whistle. of an engine, and then out of the mist came the ghost of 89. It was on Gordon's line and heading straight for him. Just before it neared Gordon's buffers, the engine disappeared. What on earth was that? Gordon, his driver, and his fireman knew they had seen a ghost, and for the rest of the journey, Gordon remained silent.
Early the next morning, Gordon returned to Tidmouth's shed. The engines were being prepared for the day's work. Gordon backed into his section of the shed. Gordon looked over and seen Edward. He just glanced at Gordon and puffed away. He didn't have to say a word. Gordon knew exactly what Edward meant.